my name is Kat and today I want to talk about duologies. I have some recommendations to share because some of my favorite books of all time are duologies. And I also have some duologies near the top of my TBR pile that I want to share. So let's get into it. <laughs> So this video includes a paid promotion with Disney Book Group. We are celebrating two recent releases that are duology conclusions. The first is Undying by Amy Kaufman and Megan Spooner. This book just came out on January 22nd and it is the sequel and the conclusion to Unearthed. This duology is part romance, part sci-fi adventure, and just all of the fun. I read the first book last year when it first came out, and the second book, Undying, was actually my first read of this year. I was stressing about my first read of the year, like I put a lot of pressure on choosing a good one, and I'm so glad I picked this up because it was exactly what I wanted. It's just such a fun, action-packed sci-fi adventure with plenty of romance, and I, I love all of that. I love the story and the setting, and especially in the second book, the romance and our main characters. I just, they're great. If you're looking for a fun, adventure, romance type story that you can just fly through, then I definitely recommend checking out this duology. The second recent release that we are celebrating here today is actually not yet out. It comes out on Tuesday, February 5th, and that is The Last Life of Prince Alistair by Alexandra Bracken. And of course, this is the sequel to The Dreadful Tale of Prosper Redding by Alexandra Bracken. Oh, they're both so shiny and beautiful together. I love it. I read the first book when it first came out. It was actually a book explosion book of the month, so there are plenty Plenty of videos on my channel talking about this one. And I haven't read The Last Life of Prince Alistair yet, but I am so excited to because Alistair ended up being one of my favorite characters from this first book. This is a middle grade duology about a boy named Prosper Redding who ends up possessed by a demon because one of his ancestors made and then broke a bargain with said demon. So this demon, Alistair, wants revenge against the entire Redding family. But as Alistair and Prosper spend more time together, spending time together is kind of a mild way to describe being possessed by a demon, but as they spend more time together, they start to realize that the situation is more complex than they first thought. Book one was such an entertaining and atmospheric and spooky in a fun way kind of read that I, I'm just, I'm really excited to see how the story wraps up in book two. Next up, I wanna talk about what is probably my favorite duology of all time or at least until later this year. Actually, we're gonna talk about that one first because Carry On by Rainbow Rowell is my favorite book of all time and the sequel is coming out this year. And I don't even know if this counts as a duology because I do think there's a difference between a duology and a book with a sequel. And I think this might be a book with a sequel, but I, I love it. I love it. I love it so much. I have to talk about it whenever I can. As of this moment of filming, we do not know when book two is coming out and we don't have a cover for book two yet. But that cover and release date could drop at any moment. And I cannot wait for that to happen so I can make a 30 minute video analyzing the synopsis and discussing my theories. Stay tuned. Next up is my current favorite duology that is actually completed and I've actually read both of these books and I love them so, so much. I'm talking about Strange the Dreamer and Muse of Nightmares by Lainey Taylor. Look at that shine, they're both so shiny. With this duology, it was actually supposed to be a standalone originally, but then the story got long and we ended up with two books and I'm not complaining because I love Lainey Taylor's writing. Her words are just so gorgeous. I think Lainey Taylor will always be one of my favorite authors of all time just because I adore the way she uses language. Like, I don't have the language to articulate how beautiful her writing is, but just like what she does with words is just, it's magic. And not just words, because yes, this is a beautifully written story, but is also just a good story. Like the themes we're exploring, the characters, the setting, the fantastical elements, 
It's brilliant. I love this duology so much. I actually put off reading Strange the Dreamer for a while because my expectations were so high. I had such high, high hopes for a living, but I had no reason to worry. Like this was wonderful. Probably my favorite thing that I read last year. Next up, I want to quickly mention Six of Crows and Crooked Kingdom by Lee Bardugo. I feel like I don't really need to recommend these books to you because they have been everywhere lately. And if you haven't picked them up yet, then you probably don't want to, but I love this duology so much. I love this world. I love these characters. There's a Netflix adaptation in the works now, so it's a really good time to get on this series if you haven't. Oh, and another book I can mention because it will be out by the time this video is out, King of Scars by Lee Bardugo, which is the first book in a new duology. And this is a spinoff of, I guess, both the Six of Crows duology and the original Grisha trilogy. Like you probably want to read the other five books before you start this duology. And I don't want to say much about this because I don't want to spoil you if you haven't read those five other books. But this book follows a character that I love very, very much. And I just, I can't wait to read this. I don't have a copy yet. That's why you have an image here. I just, I need to get a copy and I need to read this as soon as possible. Next up is a duology that probably isn't technically a duology. Like I think this is a book and a companion situation, but I loved Geekerella so much and I am so excited for the princess and the fangirl. And these books do have different main characters and they follow separate stories. But like one of the main characters in this book, we meet in this book. So there, there's crossover. I feel like I can count this as a duology. I was lucky enough to get an arc and I am so excited to fly through this because if you guys don't remember, I read Geekerella in a single sitting kind of on accident because on this food truck, it says vegan treats. And I was like, oh my gosh, is the main character vegan? And I started reading like just to find that out. And by the time I discovered the answer that no, she, she wasn't vegan, I was so invested in the characters and the story, I couldn't put it down until I finished. I don't think it's necessary to read Geekerella first, but one of the main characters of this book we do meet in Geekerella. And both of these books are kind of centered around the same made up fandom that we are first introduced to in Geekerella. So you probably want to read this one first. And also it's just a fantastic, fantastic book. Read Geekerella. It's great. Next up I have here This Savage Song and Our Dark Duet by Victoria Schwab. If you guys have been here for a while, then you know that Victoria Schwab is one of my my favorite authors. I just adore her writing style and the way she constructs stories and builds worlds. Like just every time I hear a premise to one of her books, immediately I'm, I'm like, yes, that sounds amazing. I want it now. Like the ideas that she comes up with, it's just like her mind, wow. Basically, this is an urban fantasy about this city that is divided and overrun by monsters. One of our main characters is a human who hunts monsters from one side of the city. And our other main character is a monster from the other side of the city, but he doesn't want to be a monster. It's just an awesome world, awesome writing, it's an awesome duology. And finally, I have one last series that I actually don't know if this is a duology or if there are just only two books out currently, but I wanna talk about The Call and The Invasion by Patter O'Gillen. Now I haven't read The Invasion yet, but The Call is one of the most unique and horrifying books I have ever read. This was just such a gripping and fascinating book. It's a thrill ride full of nightmare fuel and I just, I was horrified by it, but I also loved it. And the only reason I haven't read The Invasion yet is because I just haven't been in the right mood for it. Like it's less of a scary, spooky kind of book and more of a like horrifying thriller where you just, you can't look away. But yeah, if you like to read dark, unsettling thrillers, then you should check this out. Okay, that is it. Those are all of the books I had to talk about for this video today. Leave a comment down below letting me know what is your favorite duology of all time? Is it one that I 
already mentioned? Is it one that I need to add to my DVR? Let me know. But yeah, that's it. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you have a wonderful night and I will have another video up soon. So I will see you then. Bye!